So I've got a got a couple of things to talk about around the sporting world, and yes, I have a Toronto Blue Jays magnet made. I uh, got myself a decal, decal, call them decals, and I've also got these now. So baseball, mini baseball for every team in Major League Baseball, and for the color, the colored ones here, uh, those are extras. It was an extra of the Mets, the Cardinals, the Red Sox, all the more popular teams. So once I figure out a way to incorporate these into videos, I'm going to start talking about baseball. And I can have some fun with that. If if we if we get a baseball season. If. And and honestly, the federal government comes out today and says, won't be in Toronto. So baseball fans right away say, well, what about hockey? They're having hockey games in Toronto. Why can't you have baseball games? Oh, there's a big difference. The the hockey is going to be in a bubble. It's going to be completely isolated. Now I know baseball's talked about having players in a bubble, but it's different. And and the number of players coming in and leaving. I knew that was going to fall off of there. Oh well, I'll keep going because that's how it works. Do it live. But um, I'll just blame Shadow. Stupid Shadow. So um, federal government comes out and says no more because you're going to have teams coming and going every few days, and it's just it's a logistical nightmare. It is not a hub situation where you're bringing in 12 teams and isolating them from the rest of the world. And so now Toronto's left kind of scrambling. And here's the weird thing, that the provincial government said, sure, and then the federal government went, no. Because when the provincial government came out and said, sure, uh, there were many Canadians, myself included, that said, um, there's something to overrules your provincial government, the federal government. So the federal government stepped in and said, no. Because again... Um, uh, while I understand how hockey's doing this, and I, I'm okay with it, and and you know what, the NBA's bubble as uh, as it looks, it should be okay. I think I think we'll be able to get a basketball champion. Baseball, I don't know. I really, I don't know. It's basically just okay. Behave yourselves, okie dokie, and cross your fingers and hope. Now that's that's news today. News from yesterday. So Dan Snyder, the owner of the Washington football team, which apparently is leaning towards Red Tails because it's Saturday, it'll be back to Red Wolves by tomorrow. The Tuskegee Airmen that it was that it's going to be named after, they're not too sure about having their name associated with the team. Uh, the, the the team's under some real heavy scrutiny here. The interesting thing is there's also accusations that the owner bribed officials. Those are not uh, founded accusation yet. That he actually bribed officials. Here's the thing. If the owner's bribing officials and your team still sucks, your owner's not managing his money correctly and your team really, really sucks. Oh boy, it's a good thing I slipped a couple hundred bucks to that ref because uh, that way we only lost 20 to nothing instead of 27 to nothing. So you're welcome, Washington fan base. They're, 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 they're the worst team in football. In terms of not having a direction, they're just, just an absolute disaster. And, and now the reports have come back out about, and this is stuff that was known before, about cheerleaders being uh, uh, taken to, I believe it was Costa Rica, and then they take their passports and have them dress all, you know, bikini-like and sometimes just wearing body paint and maybe, you know, renting them out to the high rollers. And it's just all icky. You know, the, the, the Washington football team needs more than just, just a name change. They... they at this point, if the NFL came out and said, you know what, we're just going to fold the team. I, I don't know how surprised I'd be by that right now. It's one scandal after another after another. And it's so bad that even though bribery in today's professional sports sounds so ridiculous, and it does to me, got to be honest, because it's Washington, you kind of go, well, do we want to dismiss it outright? Now, I'm saying yes, because I haven't seen it from a reputable source yet, but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the the idea that these, these cheerleaders were treated really badly. There are 15 current and former employees who have come out and said, <laughs> harassed or worse. Uh, and, and of course, this is the, the team's culture. They, they apparently were proud of their culture until all of this came out. And then the public sentiment soured. And it's like, now Dan Snyder's coming out with an apology. There's two problems with that. One. Either Snyder knew what was going on and he's complicit, or he didn't know what's going on and he's incompetent. One way or the other, I have seen articles from American reporters now saying it's time to get Dan Snyder out of the ownership group of NFL football owners. And and again, I know how difficult that is. 
I know how hard it would be to convince him to sell the team, but boy howdy, this is this is an absolute just I, I, I cannot fathom just the the depths of ridiculousness to this. And then there's other women that have come forward and said, if you think it's just Washington doing this, you're wrong. There's a misogynistic side to NFL culture that is now starting to show and other teams are going to get out of it as well. I'm trying to think now. I know there was the Dallas Cowboys that fought their cheerleaders getting uniforms that covered up a little bit more. And I, I remember there being a big controversy like, we well, can't cover them up. And I'm thinking, yeah, I don't know. If the, if they want to be covered, it's a slippery slope. And then there was talk of other cheerleaders in the NFL being treated like basically just garbage. And, and you know, oh, stay away from football players because, you know, those football players... And they're they're basically treated like like cattle, and it's it's not a good look. And it's you know I, I I've 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 found the whole idea of cheerleaders in sports to be okay, depending on how they're treated and depending on how uh, how it comes across. But it, it does look like the NFL is going to be facing some sort of a reckoning, and with Roger Goodell in charge. And I've seen people say, well, you know, Goodell's the worst. Uh, the worst commissioner. I'm sorry, but as long as Rob Manford's in charge of anything, he is the worst. And somewhere Gary Bettman's putting his feet up and going, I look pretty good now, don't I? Uh, NFL training camps are set to open on July 28th. That came out today as well, and we'll see how this goes with uh, opening night on, I think it's the 13th of September. Um, so we'll, we'll see how all this goes. Trying to have sports during a pandemic is one thing, but all this other stuff coming out. I, I, you know, I don't know, and I've seen, I've seen people on social media. I'm a, I'm more of a Washington fan than ever. I'm so proud of my team, and I'm thinking, why? Like, and and I'm that's an honest question. I mean, I can answer to people when they ask, well, why are you a Canuck fan? Why are you a Burn fan? Why are you a Dallas? I get it. Why would you cheer for the San Diego Padres? I can answer that. Why would you cheer for the Chargers in in football? I can answer that. Why do you, why do you want to see the Blue Jays turn around? What makes you sort of hopeful for the Blue Jays? I can answer that. I don't know that I could find an answer with Washington because the team hasn't had direction for a long time. Clearly, management is a complete and total shambles. Uh, John Gruden's yapping as well. Ownership is is a shambles. The team name now is out the door, and what are they going to call it? And is that going to fix anything? You, you know, during all of these huge, massive issues the team's having, maybe just, just come up with some sort of sister city idea with Seattle in the NHL. And just have like the Seattle NHL team and the Washington, because Seattle's in Washington State, so there's a crossover possible there. I'm only half kidding. I I'm not sure how Washington fixes this. I'm not sure how in a league where you have the Miami Dolphins, you still look at Washington and go, well, I, I guess they're worse than Miami. I guess it's a worse run ship because uh, at least Miami looks like they should be able to start turning things around this year. And that they have bottom and Washington. Where is bottom? Where is it? Where is it? Because when you've got 15 current and former employees coming out and going, I was harassed. There's a bunch more that haven't come out yet. That's usually the way that works. There's a bunch more that'll come out, and then it's going to start hitting other teams, and it's it's going to be an absolute PR nightmare. And then on the other side, of, of course. You've got the protests. You've got all the other stuff going on, and how football players may very well react to that. We, I have said this since March. We may look at a situation where the National Hockey League has the ability of the sports that are going to try to come back during all of this. They have the ability to really increase their footprint. If, if baseball shoots itself in the foot, and if the NFL keeps having just scandal after scandal after scandal, scandals that upset liberals and scandals that upset conservatives, both sides of the, you're just then then there's there's not much you can do. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. These are these are interesting times if you're a fan of the Washington team. And again, um, one one challenge I will throw out there, and I'm I'm not trying to be sarcastic on this. If you are still wearing a Washington jersey, a Washington hat, if you're still going into this regular season saying, you know what, I want to see Washington. I Is it because you you were born into liking the team or is there something on the team you say, you know what, I really like the coaching or I really like the, 
the the offense, the defensive line, something that you're 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 looking at and you're able to look past everything else because it's getting ugly. Let me know your thoughts. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And hey, I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of videos about whatever happens with the Washington team in, in the National Hockey League or National Football League. National Hockey League would be on my main channel. And of course, um, I would love to be able to talk about the Blue Jays maybe winning some games. And I, th I you know what? It, the weird thing is, I'm just going to add this at the end. I'm kind of optimistic about about the Blue Jays a little bit that maybe they get back to 500 and maybe we start seeing some respectability. Maybe it's maybe it's just the sun getting to me. Let me know your thoughts. I will talk to you again soon.